Hi guys, we'll have a look at Perfect Girl. I just love the guitar. I mean, I just love the main uh, riff of the song, the main uh, tune I'll see. Just love it. So, just start showing you guys how to do it. And I'll show you guys the other parts of the song which we have. Like this happens for the chorus, I mean, the uh, verse. No capo standard tuning. Uh, so, this song is indeed very easy because we're not playing full chords, we're rather playing power chords which are just like one fifth of the chords so uh, the verse goes like this we have like a D sharp 5 E6 D8 and uh, keeping every other string muted excluding the A and D string so it sounds like this I'll bring it two frets down so now C sharp 5 so we got 4 6 I'll bring it three frets up from that position so 1 2 3 it's a E5 7 9 and then I have a G sharp which I'll play like this over here E4 and uh, A6. In that case, you should mute the bottom four strings. I'm simply going for a dance string on every chord, and that's basically a verse. I sometimes add palm aiding, which is having my palm rested just above the bridge of the guitar. I'll get a very soft sound. So we have a dance string. E. Now, uh, this is like super straightforward. We don't have anything else. We just have this chord progression going on. Try that out. We also have this. On the D string, I play eight, nine. On the G string, I play six, eight. Now back to the D string, I'll play six, eight, six. So we got. So on top of this, we're basically just trying the chords. Like that uh, and after that we do have uh, the chorus uh, rhythm the chorus and the intro are exactly same we have E major C sharp minor G sharp minor and G sharp minor again over here can play the power chords we can play the full chords like I did over here I'm playing open second second first open open for the E major for the C sharp minor chord I bar the fourth fret I have fifth fret on the B string sixth fret on the A and D and for the G sharp minor chord I bar the fifth fret and I have sixth fret on the A and D you can play it down, down, up, up, down, up, or like twice on every chord, so. So it's a minor. And it's a minor. Or again, it's a minor. So we have. Da -da -da. Uh, hope that's clear. Uh, won't be going too much depth in that. I'm really uh, interested in showing you guys this one. So it starts off with us like a small break, like the count starts with one, two. So from the two, we'll start playing it. One. So one, two, three, four. I've played every note twice. I played 16 on B, 12 on B, 13 on G. I went da 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 da. So down up, down up, down up. After that, the second note will go a bit high. It goes like this, I have 18 fret on E, 17 fret on B, 16 fret on G, 18 fret on D. So we got, make sure you're doing down up, so we got 1, 2, 1, 2, I'm so sorry, 1, after that you go to the high E string, 14 fret. 16 fret on B string, 15 fret on G string, 16 fret on D string. Repeat that again. When you put it all together, it sounds like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. The riff is really very easy. It sounds fantastic. So give it a try and let me know how uh, you can do it, how well you can do it. Or if you're stuck, let me know. I'll help you out. That's the whole song, guys. I hope the video helped you out. As always, be sure to subscribe uh, for more uh, lessons like this. And I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.